way over here is Bribey Island. Mission Point, that's where I wanted to do an overnighter. Um, leave me car at Donnybrook and paddle on over and camp the night. But um, Bribey Island's out of bounds because of the flooding. I'm up here at the moment, up here at um, Kitchen Creek. And there's a campsite just there that I'm going to stay the night at. And I'm up in here. I'm going to launch a kayak here and have a bit of a fish. See if I can catch something. It's still pretty brown, but and it's low tide at the moment, but high tide's in about two hours. Um, and then, um, yeah, so Deception Bay, that's where I was last night. Scarborough, down here, that's um, where we went. We went about three and a half kilometers and we caught nothing. So let's hopefully, hopefully I can uh, get something today. Would be nice. G'day guys, welcome back to another video. I'm still up in Queensland, but I'm um, up at Coochin Creek today. So there's a little campground right right nearby. I'm going to stay out the night. Uh, National Park fee is $6. Uh, Coochin Creek's uh, really dirty at the moment. Uh, never been here. They say you can get mangrove jacks up here, a bit of uh, rock cod, stuff like that. Um, I'm, I'm the only one at the boat ramp, so hopefully my car's all right there. It doesn't get broken in there because uh, we're pretty remote out here. Anyway, um, I guess I'll get into it and hopefully I can catch something. Little Zeric, um, weedless around just at these uh, mangroves to start off with and just to engage uh, what's around and then I will um, might change to a diver. Alrighty, camp set up, got the kick ass shower over here, got the 30 second awning and I've got the uh, Oz 10 swag on Oz 10 stretcher. Uh, that's the new addition, the companion aqua heat shower. So that's just one switch and I'll turn it on, I'll show you guys how it works. Got me a little shower mat and the uh, little drain and uh, my shower head just up there. So what you do, turn it on. And then set the temperature, thing about there, start. The gas is igniting. And there's your water, ready to go. So I'm on site number 12, which is uh, right on the river. So if you want, this is the actual site here at the back here. Um, and I think you get this area too, I'm not too sure. But I've just set up there like that. So that one's close to the river. Go, we'll take you for a bit of a walk. You got site number 14 here, next to 12. That's um, right on the river too, a little bit of trees and stuff. Site number 15, this one's meant for a caravan. Pretty big site. 
go for a walk down here towards the toilets. Site number 16. So you got 14, 15, 16. They're sort of very close to each other. Uh, no number on that one, but it's got for caravans. Site number 19. So I'd say you put a tent in the middle of the grassed area there, just like these people over here. Here's the uh, campground map. So I am number 12 over here. This is the river here. So you got 12, 13 right on the river. Number 11 also on the river. 9, 10, 7 on the river. You got one campsite way over here on the left, number 21. That'd be really good um, if you want a bit of privacy. Other than that, they're all pretty close together all around here. Toilet tray rear at the front where you come in. Um, yeah. You got a book online, it's $6 uh, per night. Um, yeah, so not sure if there's showers or not, but there's definitely toilets. I'll go show you them. So the toilets are closed at the moment. So they've just got these uh, little cubicles here. This is as of uh, about the 20th of May. They look all right, the toilets. I don't think there's any showers at this one. Unfortunately, I'll have to do a bit of research and get back to you. But uh, very well looked after, very well maintained caravan park. So you can come here for the day as well, um, just for a day trip. We've got um, picnic and um, barbecue tables. Just over here behind this tree, just over there there's some barbecues and uh, picnic tables. And then just down here you've got, um, I would say, like a little, little fishing wharf. So you can't launch your kayak here unfortunately, you've got to um, go to the boat ramp which is about a kilometre down the road. And down here, if you're keen you probably could carry a real lightweight kayak down these stairs, but it's a bit of a drop at the bottom here. So the tide is coming in at the moment and yeah, still heaps of a drop there. But uh, yeah, you can have a bit of a fish off here. Um, that's it there, right on the river. Yeah, I went for a bit of a fish earlier and um, I caught absolutely nothing. Um, I was talking to a guy at the boat ramp and he went right out to the mouth of um, Bribey um, and he was using live prawns and he didn't even get a brim. So, um, very average fishing. Um, unfortunately, with all this rain that we've had and there's more expected on the way this weekend, um, it's about to rain Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I was gonna go out to Bundaberg, but I've canned it and I'm um, heading up to Bly Bly next and I'm going to go to the Barramundi Park see if I can catch a Barramundi there uh, I've never caught one before but give it a go and yeah then I'll make my way back home Alrighty, for dessert tonight, we're going to cook uh, s'mores, which I think um, they mainly cook them in the United States and Canada, and um, all it is is just like um, like a biscuit with um, marshmallow and chocolate, that kind of thing. What we're going to do is the Aussie version, we're going to put it in the waffle cone, um, we're going to wrap it in foil, we'll add some chocolate, some uh, pink, pink lady sliced apples, some marshmallows and some uh, sultanas and then what we'll do is we'll just get some coals got the fire um, cranking over there we'll get some coals and um, we'll just put that on the coals just to um, cook put, the, uh, put something in there to stop it from going down the, um, all that fits perfect marshmallow mixed up some apples oh, shit they're big Apples in there, chocolate. Mix it up, put some chocolate in there. Three chocolate, salt on this, couple of them. And uh, finish it off with uh, some marshmallows. The 
the best thing about these campsites is uh, you think these would be annoying when you open your car door, but make the perfect uh, little coffee table. Alrighty, good morning guys. Um, camp's all packed down now, so um, we're good to hit the road. Heading up to Bly Bly next, and um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed. That's uh, Coochin Creek for you. So if you're ever in the area and you need a quick night to, just a quick place to stay the night, it's only $6 a night and you got a book, good to hit the road. <laughs> 